I struggled for a long time trying to do engraving with Fusion 360, so here's a very quick tutorial on it. The first thing we need to do in the design stage is create a sketch. The first sketch that you're going to create is simply your stock. I create that in my XY plane here. All I do is create a center-oriented rectangle starting at the there, and I'll create it 80 wide and 50 high. I just typed 80 tab 50 to type in the two boxes and it creates a rectangle that's 80 by 50. At this point I've finished creating my stock. At this point what I do is I extrude that to my stock thickness which in my case is 14 millimeters. I simply type 14 and now I have my stock piece. The next thing I want to do is I create another sketch and this time the sketch is actually created. I highlight the top surface of that stock and I create my sketch on that top surface. And on that top surface I'm going to put my text. And so I create text in there by clicking and doing a rectangle the size of my stock. You can do whatever rectangle size you need. Then I adjust my text size to fit in my stock. change that to whatever I want. I better enter my text first. So I can actually go bigger on that. So let's go out of 20, which looks fine. I have it. You can choose whether you want your text left justified, right justified, centered, top justified, and you can choose whichever font you want. So, pick any font that you, and you'll see what your text looks like. You can choose serif fonts, non-serif fonts, doesn't really matter at this stage, whatever you happen to like. Times New Roman looks fine for this. Before you finish this sketch, what you need to do is turn this from Windows text into an outline that can be engraved. And we do that with the explode text command. So now I can finish my sketch and there's the text that I want to engrave. So the next stage we go into the from design where we were into manufacture. I need to create a setup And I don't worry about the machine, but I need to worry about where my origin is on my machine. Where does my machine start working on things? And I start from the bottom left corner. So I simply click on that and it moves the origin to that location. In the stock pieces, the stock side offset typically is one millimeter and the top offset is typically one millimeter. So what I did was I changed those to zero and then I right clicked on that field and said set, set as user default or save as user default and same with that so that every time from then on in Fusion 360 my defaults are changed to that and I don't have to set that. So all I would need to do in future is come in here and set my origin point and I'd be done. Now that I have my work setup created I can do the actual work itself, which is engraving. So all I choose is the engrave tool. First I need to select a tool. I have no tools here, so I need to create one. So I add a tool, and it's a chamfer bit that you do engraving with. Call it whatever you want. And you need to specify at least two dimensions for the cutter. My diameter of my tool is 12.5 millimeters. And my flute length, how high it is at the bottom, is 6 millimeters. That's created my tool. I can specify cutting data as well. Now this is machine specific. For my MPCNC, I know my cutting feed rate for wood is 200. That works well on my machine. And when I set that, you'll see that it sets all the lead in and lead out feed rates and everything appropriate based on that. So I will accept those settings 
and select that tool as my workpiece. Now I go to the next one, which is the geometry, which is which geometry do I want to carve? You simply select the geometries that you would like carved. And if you get something like the E here with an inside and an outside part of it, make sure you select both parts. I have now chosen my geometry. A good idea at this point is to right click and choose simulate. And you can play and you will see the actual tool going through the motions of what it's going to carve and you can get an idea of whether it's going to look like you are expecting or like you're hoping for. It's looking fine to me. Good idea to watch for letters like the E with the inside and the outside to make sure it's doing what you want. Everything looks reasonable there. So I will close the simulation. At this point I right click on this and I choose post process. Generates the machine code for my MPCNC. My post processor chosen is the MPCNC milling machine and this is because I have downloaded the MPCNC post processor for Marlin 2.0 from the GitHub. I give it a name. text testing and I do the post processing it's going to save that file with the G code in my download folder and we get a message down here saying it was successful I'm done in Fusion 360 that's it now I go out to my download folder there's the G code that it's created I'm gonna right click I'm gonna send it to I have an SD card installed here that I will plug into the MPCNC and I'm going to send it to there. So there is now my SD card which has that G code on it. I will simply eject that SD card and now I can take that over to my MPCNC, plug it in and print it. This is my MPCNC milling machine with the stock already mounted in it see that it has the 12.5 millimeter wide V-bit engraving bit in. I take my SD card and insert it into the side of the controller, media inserted. At this point I can go down to print from media, choose the file that I just put out there with the G-code. say print. With the MPCNC post processor you get a message on the display that says attach Z probe. So at this point it's going to figure out where the top surface of your workpiece is. So I put my Z probe in and then you simply press the button and it will zero out and be ready to print. It's worth noting that it doesn't home X and Y before it prints. I normally do that manually but it's very useful so that you can move to somewhere else on the workpiece and print if you want. So you have to make sure that X and Y are at the proper zero location. After it has done the Z probe, it tells you to detach the Z probe and as soon as you click button on there it will start printing.
there's my finished product. <laughs> Engraved into the work.